Red Dreaded Entertainment. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Aka Sun. Hey, um, somewhat breaking news for today. I just woke up a little while ago, and so getting the crest out of my eyes to let you know about some uh, uh, information that's coming here from Variety and actually just across the board. Zoe Kravitz, Zoe Kravitz to play Catwoman in The Batman. Uh, as you guys know, this is Matt Reeves. Let me go ahead and just read it out for you. Because uh, my initial reaction right now is um, I think it's a, it's, it's a great casting. Uh, I don't know much about her body of work. I only know about her body. <laughs> That's fucking... No, 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 no. Um, actually, if anything, initially for me, the first thought to me is like, ooh, that face. That face... That curiouser and curiouser says the cat type of face. She's got that like I effing you type stare. That's Selena Kyle right there. So, bars. Let me go ahead and take a look here. Uh, Big Little Lies star Zoe Kravitz has been tap tap to play Catwoman, the anti heroine and sometimes love interest of the Cape Crusader in Matt Reeves' upcoming The Batman. Kravitz will star opposite Robert Pattinson as Batman. Pre-production on the Warner Brothers DC Comics pick is expected to start this summer. No official start date has been set, although insiders tell Variety that filming could start in late 2019 or early 2020. The Batman is scheduled to hit theaters June 25th, 2021. Reeves, the filmmaker behind the last two Planet of the Apes sequels. Did he not do the first one? I guess not, huh? That's why the second one was so good, and third one. Took over the Batman following duties from Ben Affleck in January 2017. It's been that long? God damn. Um, Affleck departed his role as the Batman following Justice League, allowing Reeves to pick up his own Bruce Wayne Reeves. Um... Planet of the Apes collaborator Dylan Clark will produce. Kravitz is coming off her second season of HBO's Big Little Lies. How is that show? Worth checking out? I don't even know if I get it out here in Japan, though. No. Uh, which aired its finale in July. She also has the Hulu series High Fidelity coming out later this year. She is repped by Paradigm. Paradigm. Anne Hathaway was the most recent actress to embody the thief in 2012, The Dark Knight Rises. So it's been seven years. And by the time this movie comes out, it's going to be what? Ten years? Almost? Holy shit. That's wild. Okay. Nine years or so. Michelle Pfeiffer also portrayed uh, Catwoman in 2000, uh, uh, 1992's Batman Returns. The feline suited adversary re uh, received her own feature film with Holly Berry. <laughs> Shit, I forgot about that. In the titular role back in 2004. I have never seen that movie, man. I think a lot of people should actually go see that movie. Just to realize it can't get much, it can't get worse than that, man. It can't get worse than that. Um, damn, man. But okay, so there we go. Um, I just wanted to give my thoughts on it, as I've already stated. Like, I don't know much of her, but she definitely has the look. That's for damn sure. Uh, I'm and I I am also very curious about the costume. That's I think my only big concern is um, the costume. Uh, how they gonna hide her, her hair you know it's kind of a black woman technique I mean she could take out uh, like I don't know uh, like I, uh, you have to forgive some of my ignorance here but I don't know if she's wearing extensions or does she have like natural locks um, like me uh, because if, if she's only wearing extensions then it's actually not too hard to cover all of this up you just <laughs> It, it, I mean, they got the budget for it, but you just basically take out the extensions where she's wearing the costume. And then when she's out of the costume, she puts the extensions back in, right? Uh, but now if it's natural, that's going to be really difficult. Like, uh, or, or you're going to have to sort of 
do similar to what they did with um um not with the dark knight i didn't like really how they did the dark knight rises outfit like the body outfit was pretty cool with the stilettos and shit but uh the actual mask itself was like uh, okay whatever i mean it worked for what nolan was trying to do as a cat burglar but um what they could do is very similar to a Batgirl type of deal where um, you have the mask on and then all the hair is flowing through the back like that. Uh, you know, that that might work. That might work. Um, I don't know, but God damn, man. She just, she like, I'm staring at this image right now. She just, she just eye effing me so bad right now. It's like, that is Selena Kyle. And I'm, I'm very curious to see the way, the world of how Reeves is mixing this up. You have a lot of uh, I don't know, I would see, minority is not the term because minority is not a majority half the time. Uh, especially on the side of Disney. <laughs> Blizzney. I, you have a lot of uh, color. <laughs> that sounds terrible, too. You got a lot of ethnicities. A lot of ethnicities in um, this movie. And I think that's great because it's actually building a very realistic world in terms and not like the cw where there's like a token somebody for everybody token gay guy token black guy whatever um but you know the, what the way i see it gotham if you've ever been to new york if you've ever been to new york it, which is you know roughly what gotham i guess is based on uh you know you you notice there are no colors like like there's, it's all mixed. It's just a melting pot of people. And labels is not the thing. And that's the way I think Gotham really should be. Especially when they cast Commissioner Gordon. That made all the sense to me. I mean, like, you, you definitely need, like, a, uh, a black cop up in there. A, a, to make things a little more interesting. Particularly if you're a big fan of The Shield. And, um... NYPD Blue, it's like, it's always gonna, you're gonna have a mixed area, and like Gotham to me, feels like a very urban area, and then in some parts of Gotham, yeah, it's gonna be super rich, super white, but uh, it, it would, it does make things a lot more interesting in terms of Catwoman, who now is played by Zoe Kravitz, who uh, is obviously mixed, because um, I think Lenny Kravitz is part Jewish, or full Jewish or something yeah, I think part Jewish or something like that so I don't know I don't know fully what Lenny Kravitz is but it's obvious that she's mixed and that would make sense that you would see somebody uh, growing up within that background of Gotham uh to have this sort of uh inner aggression upon the city that she was maybe we don't know but raised in it, it would make a lot more sense in this uh, situation I'm not saying that uh, a, a full-blown white person uh, the, in the traditional role of Catwoman couldn't play that role, but it does seem a little more convincing in the sense of what we know of S Selena Kyle. Um, well, what we know of Selena Kyle, and it depends on which version they go with, obviously, because you know we do know that Selena Kyle, in, in some versions, she's actually the daughter or adopted daughter of a mob boss or something like that but there's many ways to work and again i'm not saying that race defines the character obviously but i can see where in this case zoe kravitz not because of her race but just because of her look and just the demeanor that i get from her sort of matches what matt reeves is trying to pull off in a way for the audience as ourselves to really get in sounds terrible get into her or uh work with her and um and i think that uh, it seems like she would definitely be a good way to uh pair off with um robert's batman character as well because i i mean i just want to see the suit guys just wait till that suit comes out man like day one make sure you message me when that comes out man i will stop whatever i'm doing if i'm working if i'm sleeping if i'm th doing stuff I will stop. Hey, hey guys. Hawkins in here. Oh, sorry, gotta get the shit out of my hair. Let's take a look at that bat suit. Right? Let's take a look, guys. Red Dread Nation, stand up, speak up. Tell me what you guys think about all of this. I would really like to know. Uh, how do you feel about this? Are you good, bad, so-so? For me, I think it matches. Like, you, like they just mentioned, 2012 was the last time we saw Catwoman on screen. Holy shit, by the time this movie comes out, it's going to be nine years since then. 
I think we're it's we're totally due for some sort of change and so, sort of a uh, different sort of look in what we're going for. Let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you on the next one. And stay tuned for an interview coming up um, from New York Comic Con. I think you guys are really going to like it. It should be coming up right after this. Take care of yourselves, guys. I'm out. Peace.